Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Got a really cute one this time, just in time for Mother's Day. There isn't even any ganache involved in this, which is very rare for me. So I've just got a little dollop of buttercream and I'm placing it towards the back of my board to use as glue. And then placing on my first six inch cake, filling it with my buttercream and jam until it's four cake layers high. This is my usual size for a cake tier and then rounding off the two sides to make a slope and trimming in a rounded edge across the bottom. And then just taking off any harsh corners from the top and removing any seeping fillings. And then using my cutoffs to bulk out the rounded top before covering the whole thing in a layer of buttercream. You just want to cover the whole thing and then I'm grabbing my acetate smoother just to smooth out the surface, removing some of those harsh spatula lines. This doesn't really matter as the whole back of the hedgehog is going to be textured, but I did want a slightly smoother front. And then grabbing some sugar paste to bulk out the mouth area. I'm running my finger over the top to create a centre hump and the two side pieces. Then you want to run your finger below the hump to create this sort of shape. Once you have that, I'm just sticking this to the front of the cake so it's important to not make it too big or heavy otherwise it will just fall off. I've then just dampened the sugar paste and the front of the cake and I'm laying on a piece of light brown sugar paste for the front of the hedgehog. I'm just gently shaping it onto the buttercream and the sugar paste shape before directing it over the top of the head. I'm just making sure everything is stuck down nicely and taking my scalpel to trim off the shape of the face. Everything I use will be linked in the description box below, including these fabulous scalpels and blades. and then just taking a plastic scraper and tucking in that sugar paste to show the rounded edge. I've then got the soft end of my Dresden tool to gently mark in the smile before going in with a sharper end for more definition. And then poking holes at either end of the smile for little dimples. I've swapped to my ball tool and I'm marking in where I want the eye sockets to be. I slightly indent them first and then once I'm sure on the placement, I will widen them and deepen them. I'll then go in with my fingers to smooth out the edges. The nose is just an oval of brown sugar paste stuck on with a little bit of water and the eyes are small balls of black stuck on in the same way. Then super teeny tiny white balls on top of these in the top right hand corner for catch lights. I then decided I wanted to give it a bit of a bottom lip so I drew this in with the Dresden tool. Here I'm using the toilet seat method to cover the board. I always have this tutorial linked down below but I feel it probably needs a bit of an update because it's several years old now but the actual technique itself works like a charm. Now here is something you don't see me feature a lot in the tutorials and that's a piping bag. I'm not a massive fan of piping, but for hedgehog spikes, this is the way to go. I've just got a slightly closed star tip and some brown buttercream and I'm just piping all around the bottom. A good tip is to actually start at the back because you may need to get into a rhythm and those first ones might be a little bit dodgy. Then at least they're around the back but you're essentially just covering the whole cake in these brown spikes. This is a great cake for piping beginners as the piping doesn't have to be neat. You're essentially just creating a spike effect. Here I've slowed it right back down just to show you the finish, but you may notice a very small patch of darker brown buttercream. Now I didn't change the color or make a new batch. 
This was just where I was ending my first piping bag and the buttercream in it had got warm in my hands. So you may want to take this into consideration. The warmer your buttercream gets, it will actually deepen the colour, which I'm sure if you've seen the buttercream microwave trend, it will make sense to you. For the little ears, I've cut out some of the pale brown as a circle and I'm just nipping together at the edge. I'm then popping this into the buttercream on either side. For the feet, I'm rolling the same light brown again into a fat teardrop and I'm rocking my sharp end of the dresden tool over the larger end to create a little paw. You just want to push the gaps back together and indent below right underneath the toes so you're able to bend them over a bit. Curve the whole foot round and place it on either side of the bottom for little curly hedgehog feet. The arms are made very similar but the front paw is slightly angled down. Again push the little toes together and then I'm taking the Dresden tool again and marking in just above the paw. Marking a line allows you to really bend that sugar paste into more of a right angle. These are just attached to the front with water and then I added the shine to the nose because I forgot to do it earlier. I then got some pink shimmery luster dust and I'm just giving it a bashful little smile with a dry brush. Now we just want some nice quick cartoon flowers to add so I've just squashed this green teardrop shape flat and I'm marking in some very quick lines for an easy leaf. I've made a few in different sizes. I've then got this mustard colour and I'm just grabbing lots of different flower cutters from my cupboards and creating something new with them. I'm flattening out the petals from the daisy cutter, scrunching them up together and two in a cluster creates this nice little lump, a bit like a felt flower. For quick easy cartoon roses I've rolled a sausage of paste flattened out one end much thinner and then you just want to roll this up with a thinner end pointing upwards to create a chubby rose. Just nip off any excess paste from the bottom. With varying how thick one side is and how thin the other is will create different looks of roses. Lastly, I have this denim blue and I'm just cutting out some hydrangea shapes with this metal cutter and just marking in some quick indents into the soft paste. I've decided to use really different colours with the denim blues and mustards and lilacs to give the cake a bit of a different feel. Then I'm just adding the soft paste flowers onto the buttercream so I'm able to manipulate the petals where I want them. I was initially going to do a whole flower crown across the top of the head but I decided I liked this little bunch on its own slightly off to the left. To finish it off I added a few small mustard balls to the centres of the flowers. Lastly, the message down on the board is made with click sticks. Don't worry if you find these super hard to use, there is an actual secret to using them and I'll pop the video in the description below. But that's it, a cute little dumpy hedgehog and it's all buttercream and no ganache. It's pretty easy to throw together for Mother's Day and it creates a really unique and thoughtful gift over some of the tat you can buy in the shop nowadays. Let me know if you give it a go by tagging me over on Instagram as I do love to see all your creations. And please subscribe if you haven't already to be notified about all the upcoming tutorials. Thanks guys, see you next time. Bye.